Hi guys, uh, welcome to lesson 4.5. Uh, this is how to print and resize your Google Slides. So, you know, oftentimes we use Google Slides for presentations, um, you know, to deliver kids content. But one of the things that Google Slides is also really uh, nice in is actually sort of graphic design or making posters, or if you want to print those slides as handouts and give them to uh, give them to students. So, two things. One is the printing of Google Slides. So I've just got a couple up here. Uh, we'll talk about the printing first. So you can do uh, normal printing with Google Slides. Uh, you know, if you do your control P um, or you come down here and um, we print. Okay. And so right now I'm on pages per sheet. I'm on one per sheet. And by default, the Google Slides setup is this landscape view where as I scroll through, I get one per sheet and I could print those off. So if you've got posters or you've got advertising or whatever it is that your students are working on or you're working on and it's in that landscape view, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um, you can also change here your pages per sheet, where if you go to four, you get some of those smaller uh, kind of thumbnail images. And I know some people <clears throat> have used those, uh, especially for, um, you know, uh, maybe some notes, different kinds of things. So there's some other options here. I, you know, you can switch it to black and white. You can scale it up or scale it down a little bit. Um, so that's very similar to maybe what you've done in PowerPoint before, um, but that's uh, just some printing or some printing options for Google Slides. Uh, what I really wanted to show you is Google Slides doesn't have to be um, that specific uh, way. And so um, let's say we're gonna do a new uh, slide presentation. Okay, we'll start from from scratch here and I just simply that shortcut I used there uh, was slides.new and that automatically opens a brand new uh, slides presentation and that works for all your Google products so like docs.new opens a new doc, uh, sheets.new opens a new sheet and so just a little keyboard or URL shortcut uh, to open those but if I come in here oh, I have to move myself over to this side um, Sorry, I come in here and I go to uh, page setup, which is at the bottom. Um, right now we're on widescreen, we're on that 16 to nine ratio. So it's not actually a specific um, like inches size for paper. It's more of like the screen ratio for laptops or TVs or whatever it happens to be. But if you go to custom, you can actually switch your unit here uh, to inches. And so if we wanna be portrait, we can actually go eight and a half by 11 by. And then you'll see that your slides actually change into that portrait mode. And so if you're doing, this is a really useful tool, if you're having kids make something or kids are doing something where they wanna print it um, or even save it uh, as like a PDF or export it, because uh, as you know, if you've tried with Docs, Docs isn't the friendliest for graphics in terms of putting pictures in, moving them around, um, it's got some limitations. And so a lot of people like to use slides uh, for like kind of graphic design, um, sort of simple things. There are all those, there's also those third party web tools like Canva, like Adobe Spark um, and things to use, but slides is also really useful and our kids are pretty comfortable with it. So uh, that's some printing options for Google Slides as well as how to resize your slides uh, to any custom size that you'd like. 